Hi everybody. Uh, I'm, um, uh, hi everybody. <laughs> uh, today I want to make a video to actually show how to record with the X32 Edit software and actually send all my gate dynamics equalizers, whatever I have in my channel strip to record with all these effects on uh, my DAO, my DAO being a digital performer. You can use whatever DAO you want. It doesn't make a difference as long as you get your, the, as long as you get the right signal out from your X32 to your DAO. So this is what we're gonna show today. <laughs> I must admit, this has been a hell of a learning curve for me. And uh, I have just, just, just now been able to do it. So I want to record it before I forget how to do this thing. So let's, uh, let's get to the point. The way that this software is designed from uh, the X32 edit is that by default, anything you're taking out of your card, I mean, behind your X32 rack or your X32 mixer does not contain any of the, of the channel strip effects that you put in there. So for me, it's, it's a nasty miss from, uh, from Behringer. You know, it could have been just a little a small button there that you just push and you, you know, like pre or post, whatever you want uh, to send it out from your card. But no, they didn't want to do that. They didn't do that. And we have to go through a hell of a routing uh, procedure to uh, be able to send these effects out from your card. Now, here's what I want to do. I'm going to show all my channels here, 32 channels. I'm going to go straight to the last one here, which is my studio mic. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna send this studio mic, I, I wanna record something with that studio mic and I wanna send it straight to my DAO being on another screen right in there. That's the uh, Digital Performer 9. Actually, it's all, the way it's routed now, it's already going there. As you can see, I'm getting further from the mic, but you can see my uh, audio monitor I have some input there, but what's coming in here does not contain any of the settings from my noise gate or my dynamics or my EQ or anything else. It would have been a good thing to be able to record with these things. For example, if I like the compressor on the X32 and I want to, I want it straight from the input. So here I have my uh, channel 32, which is my vocal mic here. It's a Rode NT2, uh, an antique one. <laughs> Rode, Rode Antique 2. <laughs> so let's go straight to the routing window here, see how it's routed for now. So if you see my card, the way it's routed is that I have local one to eight and nine to 16 going to the outputs of my card, one to eight, nine to 16, and the, my S16 outputs also uh, 1 to 8, 9 to 16, going to the card output 17 to 24 and 25 to 32. So that means whatever signals I have in these 32 channels are going straight to my card and do not contain anything. Well, do not contain the effects I want. So the way out of this uh, problem is with the alternate and uh, using some bus sense. So here's what we're gonna do. First of all, we're going to take that, that studio mic channel and first we're not gonna send it to the output, to the main output, no, okay? Then I wanna make sure that I don't monitor any of my DAO returns for now, mute. Hello, hello, hello. My uh, speakers don't output anything right now. So that means whatever I have here does not come out. Let's test. Hello, 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 hello. Good. So nothing is coming out. So now I'm going to go back to my 32 channels, uh, studio mic, and here I have my gate is on, my compressor is on, my EQ is on. Well, it's 
it's actually flat so I'm gonna just for the sake of uh, the demonstration I'm just gonna just put a lot of EQ like I'm just gonna boost every band just to just to, to make sure I have a, a boost in volume like you can see here in my level uh, how it boosts the volume testing 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 it's peaking even testing testing all right here it is so I'm going back to my channel so the way to to do this is to choose whatever free bus send you have you have to make one free for example here I'm gonna choose bus 12 which is free for me and I'm gonna send my channel my studio mic channel to that bus send right now if I go on my sends page here I can see that I have 0 dB on bus 12 and I set it post EQ right here I could also set it post fader but here it is post EQ so now whatever is on my mic channel channel 32 goes to bus 12 fine now we're going to the routing window and we're gonna do this is where we're gonna do the routing now what I want is to go to the ultranet because I don't have a p16 so all these ultranet outputs are completely free for me so I'm gonna take bus 12 and I'm gonna send it to p16 channel right here instead of having as I had before my direct outs I'm gonna just take that, that mix bus 12 and send it to p16 channel 16 and I'm gonna send it here I'm gonna have to right click here and to send it post EQ and mute okay so this is by right clicking on this you got all these choices so post EQ and mute is what you want because you want the signal to go after the EQ and after all the the, the channel strip now once you've done that now let's go to the meter and check what's happening now we can see that my channel 32 is getting input from my mic, of course, my studio mic. And that is going to, let's go see the mix bus. It's going to mix bus 12, as you can see here. All right. Now let's go to the outputs and see what's happening to it. Then boom, it's all going to my alternate output 16. Now we got to make that alternate output 16 send to the card so now we go to the card in in the routing uh, window we go to the card and i want it to be recorded on channel 32 right on channel 32 from uh, digital performer from my DAO. so i'm gonna send my ultranet channel 9 to 16 to the output of my card 25 to 32 meaning that alternate 16 will get output 32 from my card, which will in fact record on channel 32 from my DAO. Let's see if this all works. Back to uh, the meter. Okay, so my alternate 16. Now let's see what comes back from my DAO now. I wanna see what comes back from the DAO. So I'm gonna go to my monitor here and see what comes back from the DAO. It's muted, but I still get something coming back. Now, let's unmute it and see the volume of it, first of all. Whoops. <laughs> Hello. I even get some feedback showing just how loud it is because of my EQ here. So I'm going to keep on talking and let's see what happens here. If I re... I'm not even going to unmute it. I want to just see the levels. Watch the what happens to the levels here. This is coming back from the DAO. This is not actually what's going out from my console. It's what is coming back from the DAO. So let's see what happens if, if I turn off the EQ. Hello? Hello? Look at the volumes. No more. No more. No more. So it shows that the EQ was going to the DAO and was coming back from it, actually. And now it's not even, I mean, not even close the volume. What if I do the same thing with the dynamics? If I put a lot of gain in the compressor, hello, 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 
Hello, you can see the levels coming up. Yes, 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 hello. It's almost like a 3 dB, 2 dBs, minus 2 dBs, I mean. If I put it down, hello, 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 and now it's minus 20 dBs. So this shows exactly how to, to send the signal with the channel strip complete to the DAO, and it's being recorded with that. Well, that's it. I hope it's all clear. It's a little complicated, but you know, I mean, it eventually gets done. I mean, I basically did this video to remember it myself because I'm probably gonna forget this by uh, by next week or so. So uh, please uh, don't hesitate. Send me any questions or any comments you would like down there, as they say. And uh, have a great one. Thanks.